So this is our last question. I have to read it very quickly. Um, last week, the CDC recommended adding COVID-19 vaccines to the recommended immunization schedule uh, for both children and adults next year. Got to be very adamant about this. This is not a mandate. This was a recommendation. This happens every single year. So as governor of Michigan, do you take them up on that recommendation and make sure that the COVID-19 vaccination be required for school attendance, Mrs. Dixon? Yeah, I want to be very clear about this. This is a parent's decision. There will never be a mandate for the COVID-19 vaccine for children to go to school in a Dixon administration. I'm anxious to hear what Gretchen Whitmer has to say because she was forcing the vaccine on people. You remember her program, Vax to Normal? You could only get your liberties and freedoms back if you got your neighbor vaccinated. She will likely push this on your children. I want you to know that I will never push the COVID-19 vaccine on your children. That is your choice, and it will always be your choice as long as I am your governor. Governor Wimmer? No, I do not support requiring the COVID vaccine for children. But let's talk about COVID. It hit our state hard. It hit this community incredibly hard. We had hospitals that were full. We had morgues that were full. We had refrigerated trucks outside of hospitals because we didn't even have enough masks for our doctors and didn't have a place to put deceased people. We made quick decisions to save lives and studies show we saved thousands. I am proud of that. But while I was getting death threats, saving lives during COVID, my opponent was sowing conspiracy theories. She was saying that kids couldn't get impacted, no need for masks. She even said vaccines carried the mark of the beast in government trackers. It's that kind of foolishness that actually endangers people. If she had been governor during COVID, thousands more people would have died. Mrs. Dixon? If that were at all true, why would I have gotten the vaccine myself? The governor is being dishonest once again, but that's what you do when you don't have policies to run on, when you killed more seniors than almost any other state, when you were told to stop the policy, but you kept it going, when you could, had such extreme unemployment fraud that you lost eight and a half billion dollars worth of taxpayer money. She crushed our economy. 3,000 businesses, 3,000 restaurants died under Gretchen Whitmer and never came back. She kept our kids out of school. Mrs. Dixon, I'm sorry, I have intense. to keep us on time.